Hi, and welcome to another episode of The Dirty Birder. My name is Joe Glass. I'm a birder and bird photographer based in Pennsylvania. And today we are going over how exactly to protect your gear. Well, a couple different ways. So there are multiple ways of protecting your camera and there are tons and tons of camera housings out there, camera vinyls out there that you can put on your camera for a little bit extra protection and also things for your lenses like this kind of rubbery outer coating that actually doubles as camouflage so it's a plus. So this kind of rubbery coating is segmented so it's not sealing anything in there or anything but it does kind of help with condensation or moisture in the air that might directly you know be touching your camera. A lot of these lenses now are weather sealed. You don't necessarily really need it but it is a good added layer of protection kind of a uh, kind of your own little insurance there. So what I'm going to be doing today is kind of transforming this camera to be more protected out in the field and one of the ways that I'm doing that is by putting this kind of vinyl coating on it. It's going to protect it from little scratches, dings, and also it provides an extra layer if there is moisture in the air or condensation that that isn't landing directly on your camera, possibly getting into the internals somehow. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. And also I have this little grip piece. I don't know the brand, I will link that below. Also for the vinyl, I'll link that below. So what this is gonna do is just kind of provide, you know, some extra grip. It's gonna provide a additional layer to the bottom of the camera that isn't gonna directly be touching the ground if you're not using a tripod or a tripod head or some sort of a ground pod, you know? So here we go, I'm just gonna, just gonna jump right into it. Okay, so I guess you could say this is the semi-final version of the camera makeover that I'm giving this. It's kind of hard to get on there for, for the most part, but at the end of the day, I think it kind of looks, it looks pretty cool to me, you know? So from here, I'm just gonna put the handle on it and that should kind of complete the look. Okay, so overall, I think it looks pretty pretty damn sick. I think one thing to mention though, if you are looking into handles like these and you are using a, obviously a wildlife lens or, you know, a up to 600 millimeter lens, it does kind of get tough and I'll show you here. Getting your hand in here, especially with gloves. It is a nice extra like, you know, quarter of an inch, maybe half inch, that your hand can sit back in there. So it does feel like you have somewhat of a better grip on it. However, if you are using gloves, you might want to maybe avoid getting a handle like this, just because sometimes you can get your hand stuck in there. And another thing is it also makes it extremely difficult to get the lens off because it is sitting further back in there. I know there are multiple other options such as like, there are these hard cases that I, if I find a feasible version, I'll link it down below. But for now, this is kind of just what I'm going with. Um, I would recommend getting some sort of a camo raincoat just in case it does, you know, start raining outside or drizzling a little bit. Um, I lost mine this year, my first day of waterfowl photography. I just left it out there, went back to the location, couldn't find it at all. So this is what I'm dealing with. Worst comes to worst, I can throw a kind of waterproof, you know, pant leg that is camo over the lens and that should work just fine for it. But all in all, I think the biggest way and the most important way that you need to protect your camera is by getting insurance. I am not going to go into the specifics of certain insurance companies and stuff like that. Just do your research, find a, a good maybe photography insurance company. If you tell them you're doing wildlife, they'll probably, you know, up that charge a little bit because it's a little bit more risk involved in that. But you know, you will be covered for any damages that happen to your camera or your lens or any of your equipment while you're out in the field if you do have insurance. So definitely look into that. So make sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned. I have videos on this year's waterfowl 
photography journey that I've that I've been on and it has been pretty ridiculous to be honest so far so so stay tuned for that and if you have any suggestions for videos or any questions about how to get certain photos or really anything I'm trying to keep up posting on the community board my channel and just trying to keep up with pretty much everything involved in it so yeah thanks for watching I'll see you next time